of the stream at which point we will open up feedback and i'm gonna close my eyes and go la 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 because <laughs> if i have to hear any feedback that's critical or constructive i might genuinely implode it might be the worst day of my life unironically oh no my phone has vibrated okay so what is going on today i first of all have to open up my rap model sorry uh Dude, I have, I have to reorganize my files so desperately. The people aren't lying that file organization matters. Okay, if you ever thought, oh man, no, you don't have to organize your files. You do, you do. So, rules. We'll add them onto the stream right over here. What, well, hello, hello? Me? There I am. So, okay. It's going to be very simple rules. So let me add the orange sod the orange sod dip exactly the orange sod baby okay so the text will be here only rule win at least once per lead i'm going to be going for two wins on every lead but if it's truly a detestable detestable character who i can't make a good team for Sorry, a good deck for. I fucking said it like we're team building out here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So. Also, enjoy this uh, ambient background music. This should be the One Piece TCG sim screen. Yeah, but like not cropped like that. Jesus. What is this? Uncrop completely. Free yourself from any mortal constraints. So if you don't know, uh, if you're like, how is he playing the One Piece trading card game online? Is he hacking? First of all, I'm not, but it was very nice of you to think so. Uh, let's get a little bit of that down so I can do more like this. Yeah, that works. So there is a fan-made simulation that lets you play the entire card game online. And then here, I have my wheel of every single lead that is currently available in the One Piece trading card game. We're gonna spin it, we're gonna get a deck, we're gonna play that deck after I build it. I'm not gonna be taking anybody's decks because then where's the fun? If I just look up, best deck for uh, One Piece. Okay. It's fucking bullshit, all right? Now, do, what are my credentials? What makes me so good as, you know, someone who can run these rogue decks to go against the meta that is so vehemently in place right now? we're about to find out together because <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i don't think much now i don't know how loud this browser is gonna be oh it's not that it's not bad it's not that bad at all socket well i mean all right sorry i'm sorry i thought we'd get something fun why'd you include the meta ones if you didn't want to play meta i don't know Fucking yo, I played Plants vs. Zombies Heroes so much. All right, man. Fucking let's do this. Blue, black, Sakazuki. What's there to say about this leader? I was going to give you guys like a good rundown on what's going on here. The only thing that you can genuinely say about Blue, black, Sakazuki is he'll win. If I don't win with him, it's my mistake. Not Queen. Get, get Queen out of here. Dude, why is it running so slow? What the fuck? So, oh wait, you guys don't even get to see what's going on. Wait, why not? Weird, weird, hold on, give me what- Shh, 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 don't worry, don't worry about that, okay? Ahem, <clears throat> Game capture. Capture, not any full screen window, but a specific window. Which window is that? No, not the Opera GX 4K lo-fi hip-hop beats that will not get you copyright claimed, but I do appreciate the idea on that one. Here we go. Now you can see my deck, actually. We'll do it a bit more like this, center it, then bring this game capture down to here. Ha ha ha! So, I'm going to get off of Sakazuki as quickly as I can, by the way. I know everybody has seen this deck before, and I'm doing nothing unique here. I'm aware. So what are we going to do? Uh, to be honest, I tried to avoid playing this deck just because it was so strong that it aggravated me. But you almost definitely go... Let's start with our black staples. Almost definitely you've got... 
do people still play the three cost Hina, do you think? I remember that was a huge combo, was three cost Hina plus four cost Rebecca. I'd imagine you still do. And I'd imagine four cost Sokka still, or not Sokka, uh, Luchi is still a four of. I can't imagine it isn't. Now, what else would you think is a must include? I think you gotta get your great eruptions in there. They can trip themselves. And then where's Ice Age? Ice Age for big threats. Was it down here with the events? Sorry, I haven't. Yes, it is. So we need at least two of these. And so we got our two. Oh, does he? Does Nezumi have a card? I don't know. They might have given him a filler one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No cards to display. Please select the color or remove filters. Hear me out though. What if I just type Nezumi? Okay, you do need a color for it. No cards to display. I don't think they gave him one. I do think it's very funny the Captain Rat's name directly translates. Like, he's just a rat. He is just a rat. <laughs> so we definitely want our four Luchis, our Ice Age, our Great Eruption. How many of each? I don't know. I'd imagine you spam the hell out of 8-drop Moria, because that can bring back Luchi or Rebecca. So we definitely want Rebecca. Yeah, definitely want Rebecca on there. Probably two of Hell Meppo so that we have something as a low value target that Moria can swing back into. Now, here's the thing. If this deck goes horrible, by the way, I claim no responsibility for that. How was I? I don't play this leader. I try to avoid this leader like the plague because nobody enjoys fighting against him. So I'm based. We could. No, we can't run T-Bone because he's not out in the States yet. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they fix the pacing in One Piece, I would definitely recommend watching it. The early seasons are really good still, I think. I That's probably a controversial take. Do you run Sabo in this deck? I don't know. For a fact, you have to run... How is this organized? Whatever, I'm going to just type if I know who I want. We want four Borses. We want four Brand News. Oh, we absolutely need four pound blaze. Now, what else do we run? We're already starting to have a decent base here. What other high end stuff do I see in a I I see Borsa seven drop, but I don't think too many of him. We need our 2K counters. So give me Suru at four of and Tashigi, ooh, but we can run a Tashigi Searcher this way too, which gives us better plays. So what do you do when you have both? Well, that, I mean, it tells me one thing for 100%. We run Virgo as our other 2K. My favorite season of One Piece, oh, now we're, now we're asking the real questions. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm using my brain right now. So we can bring back with this, this. We probably want to go... Oh, sorry, no. I want to go up in Ice Age. No, I imagine actually Great Eruption is probably better to run more of. So we've got Tashigi, Virgo. What's our other condition? Because we have Luchi for removal. That's great. We have Brand New to Cycle. That's great. We do have Rebecca. So I think uh, the 3-5 Hina, at least two of that we can cycle out and then bring back. What else do people run in this deck? I mean, I'm very close to being at capacity already. Probably some more cost reduction, right? Because where's my reduction coming from right now? Well, we can get Helmeppo in there. That's, yeah, on play gives minus three cost. Yet again, just a couple. And then I might be a bitch and I'll go down, you know, knowing I'm a bitch. No, you know what? Let's do one more Ice Age. And then what else for our one more? Fuck, I don't know, one more Helmeppo? Maybe, just cause it, it's so bringable back. No, one more Hina is probably just a better option. Now, is this a good deck? I don't know, quick Sokka. I just wanna like win this and move on. If we get any slurs at us in the chat from whoever we play against, look, they deserve it. <laughs> Sorry, they, they're right, they get that. Yeah, quick Sokka. I'm sorry that this was the first one we had to get. I know everybody already knows Sakazuki decks. Hold on, let me adjust myself to a proper sizing. Everyone already knows Sakazuki decks, and like the whole point of this was it's supposed to be fun and we can play something off meta. 
Sakazuki is unfortunately the furthest thing from off meta we can go. But I think my build might be a little off meta just because, you know, you're a sucker for NL. Well, he's on the list. We might be able to get him. And if you like NL, good for you because man, that guy terrorizes the game right now. In fact, here he is now. Now, please comedically cue NL being here. So what does our leader do for anybody who doesn't know? First of all, you know, you're lying. <laughs> Second of all, once per turn when we attack, we can give an opponent's card minus one cost. Now, if you're new to the game, you'd probably hear that and think, that's bad. Why would you want to make their cards cost less? Oh, you got to answer what your favorite season was. That's true. I think my favorite arc slash season was probably... I mean, it's kind of a double part, right? Of Marine Ford plus Impel Down. But damn, those ones go off. Not to mention it has my favorite character, Porkaz Diaz. I will not be saying what goes on with my favorite character, Porkaz Diaz. But it does. He's there. <laughs> you can't deny that he's showing up. No, this is the only downside to the sim. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. And I like to just back out if that happens. Uh, it's just waiting for you to connect. But yeah, so we are fighting Reiju. Ah, do you go first or second? Probably first, and then we mulligan looking for a Tashigi. We don't get Tashigi, but this gives us something. Now, Reiju is an interesting matchup for us because actually it is the rare case where I would... Oh, I could have cycled now. Okay, my fault. I, look, I've never played this guy. I tried to avoid him because he was like too good. Reiju is interesting because she gets to spam out high cost cards early. For example, she can play this Ichiji from Trash once she gets out 4-drop Ichiji. The whole point of this is it's a very thematic deck. You play out the little guys, they suit up, and then they swing big at you. So, she has a Niji and a Reiju with her right now. We don't know if she has baby version of um the Ichiji. It's a pretty safe assumption that the answer she does. And so because of that, you asked me to trash one. Honestly, nothing to remove, nothing to develop. That's the way I see it. No target here. Take your big hit and we move on. We want to remove and control her board. There's no way you got a trigger. What are you talking about? You're blue purple. What are you fucking bottom deck with 3000 worlds? There's no shot. I mean, I guess there is a shot. I would hate that though. So here, if I had to guess, we're going to see baby, uh, baby Ichiji get played out because that's her best play for right now. She's going to swing 5k. I am just going to drop Borsa and get out of that. I know that that might not be the best idea, but I saw this coming and didn't want to hit a, take a second hit this turn because we are now at equal dawn. He gets rush. We take this. Two no hand counters. It's the game you play when you play this deck. Ooh, it would have been so good. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Trash one, draw one. Drop Hina. Draw this. Play. Hina only does what? Minus four cost, making him a three drop. But Houndblaze costs two. So I think I actually have to hard cast, play Suru, and then I can bottom deck. I think this is the play. We will hard cast one Hina to minus cost. I'm wrong. I'm actually wrong. Insanely so. I can't count in my head. I should have done it because I can't bottom deck because this card costs two. Oopsies. We live and learn and live and let lie. Well, I shouldn't have played that the way I did. What are you going to do? Sue me? Okay, whatever. I fucked that up. I fucked it up. I could have swung into the Ichiji, but let's be honest. Swinging 7k at the 7k body. Nothing's going to happen. Oh, I still could have bottom decked, actually. I forget he gets minus one when he attacks. Sorry. The Playing blue-black, there's a lot of thoughts you have to do. They're probably wondering why I didn't bottom deck there. The answer might surprise you. I'm an idiot, or is it? Maybe I wanted to save, to save it for next turn when I can... Nah, nah, I'm just kind of dumb. Nah, I kind of fucked that one up. I won't lie. Uh, 5k at me. I'd hate to waste... 
counter, but I will 2k out just because it's an even one. You could have dropped the Rebecca to make the math more even. Yeah, but next turn I want to Rebecca another Hina out. Then I've got a kind of a board to swing at. I think it's more important for me to play aggro against Reiju because she's probably going to develop more bodies than I can deal with. Do I have any proof for that? Yeah, look at her right now. So Rush Usopp is a very... In oh, I see the idea here. That's cool. If you could mill those cards... I don't think it's good, but it's a cool idea. If you mill the cards, then you can get the babies into the... But you're playing a character that's got no hand counter for it, and you're already a deck that's not exactly piloting super well without that hand counter. So we deploy this, pull back Hina, play out Hina, minus cost to Ichiji, swing here, minusing Ichiji down to a two drop. This lets us bottom deck a two drop. So select and then bottom deck that one. Now Hina is zooted out of her damn mind. Swing into, then play out to Shigi, allowing us to choose. Let's get another Hound Blaze for easy removal. Return rest to top and pass our turn. So here we've kind of re, you know, taken the board for our own. I know, I know, it's surprising that, you know, a Sakazuki can really turn the board to being his own. I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Okay, I don't I didn't want this the wheel chose it man I thought we were gonna get the ass one All right, so Ichiji. Oh bouncing my Rebecca is actually a very kind move Which makes me think we're about to get baby Ichiji into adult Ichiji No blocker I will counter out with a brand new because now he's going to play baby. Oh no, just gonna refill hand with Raju. I don't mind that though. Cause we can just kind of keep poking and prodding here. I should have let it die. I should have actually let it die 100%. Gonna don't minus one, get a blocker. Now the reason I should have let it die, draw a card, draw a done. Mm, what do we have here to play? We could do four cost into a two drop. Doesn't help now, does it? But it's not a bad idea. I'm going to do it just to develop what I can. Attack with a 5k. See if they take the free block or not. I probably would just off the idea of I'm fighting Sakazuki. Yeah, the, the idea is they're going to remove it anyways. Little do they know, I don't really play this leader and my deck list is trash because I threw it together in half a second. <laughs> I just picked a lot of cards that I know are good in black and called that there. So they have swung or they have countered out of that. I'm going to play an active Borsa and a rested brand new in order to grab. Give me the Suru for the 2k counter. I don't want to. Yes, I do want to cycle with that. And then we pass. Representing one Dolan for nothing. I honestly, you know, I probably should be playing with my Dolan a bit tighter. I think it would help a lot, but we, we do what we want because we can. So we've been very lucky this game, by the way, because normally she kind of wants to rush you down hard. Just keep fucking bah, 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 one after another with all the uh, rush Ichijis. Just hasn't had that luck, which is great for us, but like... Hold on, let me let me give this a little bit of like a, a drop shadow if I can. I don't know if I can. Now let's see what's going on there. They're playing Sora. They're searching for it, man. They definitely want it. And I don't blame them for it. Uh, Okay. Oh, my God. Well, they got it. They got what they were searching for. I'm going to just like put the only rule thing right here. And if you can't read that, that's fine. I think that that's a fine spot for it, though. So now they had this. They're deciding who they want to give minus power to, I'm imagining. Because they're... Okay, they gave it to Borsa, trying to be like, you don't want to block with him. You're representing a lot of attacks coming at face here. No blocker. Absolutely going to counter out, though, for one. No blocker. Absolutely going to counter out for two. No blocker. We'll take the hit. 
Yeah, no, absolutely take that one. He got a little scared, a little... He backed off. A bit afraid. Because he was like, oh, fuck, what if he counters out of all of these and then I'm up shit creek? A very fair idea. Do I have game? Doubtfully. But we'll start... Well, let's... Okay, let's think this through. Because this will give us 3k and we can remove something if I want. And then I could even swing, make brand new a swinger from that. We could try for game. I think it's a very risky idea. But let's test the waters with a 9k swing. See what he's kind of vibing with. I'm trying to, this is my psyche test. You know what I mean? I'm staring directly into his eyes as he stares into mine. We, our eyes may be locked with each other. We're thinking very visceral thoughts about each other right now. I'm in his mind and he's in mine. So he just lets Yonji die. That's not bad for us. Now, Hino would give minus four cost. So I think we dedicate our turn to swing here. We gotta think this through in a way that makes sense. I wanna get Houndblade's value. I don't wanna just use it. Okay, just pitches one card. I think that that's completely fine with us. Especially because every card here is big value because it could be their baby that they have to, you know, evolve into. Here I'm going to do the following. Play a Rebecca, choosing Hina, playing Hina, replacing Hina, minusing four to you, which makes him a three cost, followed by a attach two, three, four. Swing 9k here and minus his cost. Now I do the following. Brand new gets it, bottom deck here, swing 6k, see how he's feeling. Feeling frisky, feeling fine. It's, it's a 2k out, it's a simple 2k. He doesn't have it. We're looking really good with two blockers up. Will it be good enough? I don't know, but it's very rare. Okay, <laughs> one don't off the judge turn. I'm not gonna lie, a judge turn would have absolutely sealed it. They would have had it, no doubt. Right now, there's some doubt, because like, yeah, nice Ichiji. What are you gonna do about the Rebecca? I agree that that is a very good Ichiji play for you. 7K into whom? Because depending on who it's at, I will let them die. If it's at face, I don't want to take that, so I will just block. You can't represent another three drop right now. Because three isn't enough to play another Ichiji. So I know I'm safe from Ichiji there. Am I safe enough? I don't know. I feel pretty safe though, because at most you can do an 8k swing. And even if you swing eight, yeah, replenishing hand, good idea for sure. Now, what do I want to do from here? Because I don't have any of my removal options, unfortunately. I've been blowing them too much. I'll take the brand new, man. <laughs> the bald boy genius can go, all right? Draw my card. Go on, Yugi. Draw your pathetic card. All right. We will start by doing this. Giving us a new option. Hmm. Do I have any removal to play? Don't I have a Luchi in here? I don't have a Luchi in trash. Ooh, that's rough, actually. Okay. Well, that makes things a little bit more difficult. Am I representing anything else that matters from trash? I could play an active. Hmm, let's see, let's see. Swing here, it's double 2Ks. If he drains his hand for it, I'm fine with that. And it tells, okay. I'm trying to get a little read on his psyche. Everything here is a mind game. I can still trash one, draw one. But what would I trash? I don't think anything that matters. Now it's a one cost, they're probably a little bit afraid. Like, oh no, that's my only person left. I don't got shit, but they don't know that. I'm the scariest man in the world to them right now. Probably, I don't know. 
let's be honest. Do, do I really think I have to think for this deck? No. Hmm, I don't know if it's a good value play. Well, we get a Borsa back and then play out a brand new Rested over top of Hina. It's not that bad of a value play. Yeah, if I get another Borsa from it, he can't minus both of them. And I think that puts us in a good spot. We've flooded the board, flooded his mind, and made him make ample mistakes, ample opportunities for us to capitalize upon. They do take that one. They got a trigger. Let's see what it is. Not important enough to play. Great. So play active Borsa, play rested brand new over top of Hina, picking up a Suru and trash one, draw one. Now we've got an answer for something they play next turn. That's good. Am I grinding them out too hard? No, because next turn I just go for lethal with the geckos. I'm not gonna lie, if I get the one win here, I'm just gonna call it because everyone's seen Sakazuki. It's no surprise that he has good kits in his, or good tools in his kit. You know what I mean? Surprise, surprise. Oh, whoa, he's so strong. Bright side, that's the only rush they get. That makes me feel great. And I can defend almost anything. So he's going to try and bounce back my other Borsa. Yes, the one whose power isn't lowered. Fine by me. If you swing seven, I'll two one. And we can just have a, a ample time there. In fact, I can block out of everything he does now. Yeah, he's going for another 2k because he knows next turn's brutal for him. No blocker. There's the Borsalino that you so graciously gave me. No blocker have a 2k i'll take one hit here no blocker i take and he's like oh oh wait yeah because he can't even swing with the next one draw a card this should be game i'm not even gonna draw it out for him let's start with a 9k peck seeing how he feels if he takes this we swing 19k that's just how it is if he Decides that he can counter out of this, which he can. But it's going to be another card. Okay. So now... We could attach four to brand new. But what would be the idea there? We only need two to connect and we have three really good swings. So let's start with a nine here. Uh, minus cost there, I guess. I don't know. He takes... Get out of that one. All right, back to main menu. That deck was not good, by the way. I'd like to really make sure everybody understands that was a really bad deck and it had no reason to have worked the way that it did, but it was just, it was Sakazuki, okay? I, look, I made it in half a second. If you wanna play it for yourself, you're insane. <laughs> so let's see who we get next. Let's hope for somebody a little fun and off meta. See, that counts. That's something fun and off meta, I'd say. A Sabo deck. Now, Sabo is an interesting lead. Would I call him bad? Would I call him good? I would say he's kind of a very interesting rogue idea. Dude, my game lags so hard when I first load this up because there's so many cards in this game now. <laughs> they take so long to just stabilize here. Like, look how long it takes for me just tabbing between these. Now, I think there's certain stuff that's a must include, right? Like, I don't see any world where I'm not running four Koala. We can even run four of Otama and go with a little bit more of like a rush down. I think I'm going to go, with, I'm going to lean into the rush side of what Sabo can do. So we want Zoro. We want a couple Luffy, but not as many Luffy. We're happy to have him, but he's not... He's not our superstar here. So I'm going to go with two of him. I'm going to include the one Sanji who has hand counter. Yeah, if your opponent has a 5,000 power or more, he gains rush. Give two of those. Now, where's the black side of it come into it? Because we can't just like not lean into that at all. This is where blockers come in. Hina is a huge value play blocker for you. Same with Borsalino and Sabo himself. Those are all of your big value here. 
Now, I've experimented with the idea of what you could do with this one. It's kind of rough, I think. I don't like this card. I really want to like it. Like, very bad. I want to like it. I just don't think it's good enough. What else could you do? Kasabo does well when you can flood the field. So we could flood the field with extra little guys. But I don't think that that's a good idea. Now, if you're wondering what makes these, by the way, such good value ones, I feel I feel like Borsalino is actually the lowest value of these. But the main reason is because these two are five cost, making them out of range of a lot of four cost stuff. There's so many cards in the game that care about four costs. These five costs should just barely be above that and help close out games. Now, what else do we want? I'm a big fan of Chaka but not with too many of him, just because he lets you keep your leader ability a little bit more consistently. What cards are new this set that he could run? Because there's got to be some new cards that I'm not thinking of. Well, I know one thing that's nice is if we get Brook. Yeah, if we can get a Brook developed, that matters a lot, but only I think only two of is fine. We can run this Brook. I just like that card though. I just like it because of its art. He's so silly and whimsical in nature. All right, all right, give me four copies of this. We want to have some extra control. What are the new gum gum ones that were added? Then if your opponent has, give one of your characters. Actually, that's not that bad, but it's not what I was looking for. 7k power or less no what's the new it's like a it's like a, it's a film card in red that's an event get yeah, koa 5,000 power or less ah, but if i'm gonna do that right shouldn't i just go jet pistol yeah give me two copies of jet pistol because we're very power manipulative right now making these good gets and then also our 2ks also let us minus power now, what else would I want in this deck? Probably a consistent power KO or like Robin. But I'd like it to be a bit more sticky than Robin because Robin just gets killed. Now, I think we have to play Karasu. It's insane to not leverage that when your leader is Revolutionary Army. Definitely one of the strongest cards in the game, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, right now I'm kind of playing it like a scuffed version of... Bello Betty with only a little bit of a black splash there. But I don't know what else I'd be looking for out of black. Yeah, there's, I mean, I guess there's always, if we want a little bit more of a late game threat, there's nothing that says, cause this one is play a four cost and a two cost, right? There's nothing that says you can't just run this actually. I know Gecko Moria spammer, learn something new. Yeah, but this lets us play out either Brook, Karasu, Borsalino, and then we can also combo it into a Koala, probably our most important card to have in trash at that point. Do we have any searchers that matter? I don't think so. Uh, and most of our cards have counter. I think it's going to be hard for us to get too bricked up, but I am running low on 4k or on 2k counters. So how would I fix that? I don't think I do. We're not running enough revolutionaries for me to... Yeah, because it's 5,000 powers or less. If it could hit this Sabo, then we'd be on to... Well, maybe. Because it lets us search our 2Ks. I'm going to do a questionable choice. And I'm going to do two of a certain 2K. I just got to think of which one. Let's go, with a, let's go with Barto as our other 2K. Just because it's solid to have an option to play out as a, bar a blocker. And then as our, I'm going to do something that's very questionable and it's going to be starter deck Nami to help us play a little better on curve if we can get it. Sabo win? Question mark. I don't know if the deck's good. I don't know if it's bad. Uh, fuck. We'll find out together. Hello? It didn't save it. Fucking, hold on. Let me pull up. Did it? 
Wait, why didn't it save? Did I misclick something or did I? Well, now I have to clip it and check what I had. Well, no, I know what I had. I just got to click buttons real quick, which is the worst part of streaming. <laughs> or is it here now? Quick style. It might have been because there was a question mark in it. So that could have been on me. Okay, whatever. Let's rebuild this real quick. Sabo's our lead. Sabo's our lead whenever it wants to load there. Did I not click it? Yo, that I mean, that one's just completely my fault. I'm just like an idiot. <laughs> the thing you'll come to love about me. The thing you'll really, you know, come to enjoy. And On nights where the world is cold and hard. Dude, my game does not load, huh? Okay. Sabo. Hina. Forza. Okay, well, I did Brook, but that's fine because we do two of this Brook anyways. Koala. Otama. The other one I did was Barto as a 2K. But only two copies of that. Not that Barto. Whoa, whoa, man. Dude, close. The two drop 3K without hand counter. I mean, it's tempting. I will. Credit where credit's due. That might be the most tempted I've ever been doing glitch something. Uh, so then the other ones that we had for the red side were Chaka at two copies. Zoro. Zorio, my favorite <laughs> off-brand or Oreos to find at the store, man. Delicious every time. We had Luffy at two of. The one Rush Sanji at... I couldn't remember how many, actually. So we'll do three of for right now. Fire Fist, we definitely had four copies. Jet Pistol, we had some copies of. Uh, Borsa, we had four copies of. Sabo, we had four copies. I was about to say five copies of. I mean, if they'd let me. Gecko Moria, we had four copies of. And so who else? I'm forgetting so few copies of something. I like what I'm seeing, but what am I forgetting? It was definitely a red card I'm forgetting. Oh, right, Karasu. You'd be insane to not leverage Karasu here. And then I think I'll just do one more Sanji for now. If this wasn't exactly what the list was, oh, well. Dabbo. Saved. Deck saved. Should have waited to see deck saved. Now, if it's not there, that's not my fault. That would have been entirely not my fault because this time we actually had proof. I waited. I got receipts. Everything's going to court and it's going swimmingly in my favor. Unless, of course, you know, we decide to throw out the court case or it doesn't get the coverage it deserves. thus allowing people to kind of sweep anything they want under the rug from that point onwards. So, I mean, really, it could have been anything. But Saba, I think Sabo might be an underrated leader, but I would like to acknowledge my own bias with that. I think Sabo is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> he uses fire and does the like claw thing dude he's cool as hell how, how does he use fire i thought that was Acer's thing well when you get older i'll tell you wow i look dude we got this twice in a row i promise it doesn't normally do this on the sim i mean i guess i don't really have to you know i'm not the spokesperson here they didn't hire me to but salted slices you have the biggest audience in the world now i know look i i did have one tiktok earlier that went thermonuclear so i don't really you know want to okay it wasn't that good it, look it got like a thousand views but i'm very happy about that because normally my tiktoks fizzle out before they even get to like 200. okay when we see who we're fighting oh sabo versus ace the brothers duel that's way too high cost of it okay that's not the worst ending turn here it's gonna kind of be like a pass kind of angle for early pick no cards to draw we are lucky our leader is special which means we can swing into buggy some leaders they don't get that kind of luxury here nothing to play take it take the hit buddy i know you want to good shit now next turn i want to play out karasu attach don and swing I should be able to protect Karasu no matter what they do because of leader ability. They don't have that much hard removal. No blocker. Combo just one out of that. No blocker. 
combo two out of that. I'd rather keep my koalas because it's better cost reduction. Obviously, it is at a bit of a higher cost, but. All right, I'm going to waste a turn just swinging into buggy so he can't keep poking for only two dolan. Maybe that was a bad idea, but it was kind of the idea that was in my heart and far be it from me to not play with my heart. If I'm one thing, it's a man of passion who under. OK, I mean, like, what are you what are you doing here, dude? No, the next one I'll probably let hit if you attach more don't. OK, enjoy. Mm. This is actually my ideal blocker for this situation. It does mean we are not able to use Karasu's ability right now, but technically we could use it once. I'm not going to though. We're just going to attach to swing. If he triggers jet pistol and kills Karasu, honestly, I would have called that a skilled differential. And then I'll swing Karasu into one of his two Ks just for fun. Now he has to attack with this one first. Otherwise I just Hina and say it can't attack anyways. You're going to double ace. I mean, fuck me. I forgot, dude, this card's so strong. Hmm, sure. Here, I'm going to do something that's a little insane. I'm going to block with this one. Yeah, sure, that one can't attack. Then I'm going to drop a 2K, resolve the attack, and use my card action to put it down to a 4K. It's a weird interaction, but that's how it works because Sabo's ability just says 5,000 power or more. So it lets me get out of a 7k for only a 2k when otherwise it would cost an extra. Yeah. Now here, I think what I do is if I koala and Borsa. I don't need to. I can koala. Attach two here. Swing seven to four. He might counter out because he's got a huge hand. No interest. Well, then in that case, I'm down to drop Borsa and pass. Now he won't be able to attack with both of them. That's something. It does mean it's very likely. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, he's only got one Dawn left, so I don't know. Boop. He is fine. Good. Draw a card. Draw Dawn. It's not a great turn for us. So play out our Brook. And then he's only a 7K. I say only as though that's not petrifyingly high for me. If I attach one, it would be pointless to play this guy out. This is just so next turn, I've got a good way to clap back into Nine Beard. I think that this matchup is just turbo fucked for us though. I think that Ace is kind of doing what we're doing, but better. So right now we're even. Yeah, let's just poke him for an even swing and see if we can get him to drop a card if we can great we do that's awesome we're just going to attach four more here and also ping one more time leaving both of our blockers up he takes the other ping this hand size terrifies me three into three take him all you another nine beard daring today aren't we so I think that what I should do is just take this hit. Yep. Because then he won't swing with that one, but it's fine. We attach one here. I know that it could have been a perfect play for these ones. Whatever. Attach one here. Swing lead minus power. I don't know. Here, here. It's fine. Oh, right. Duh. I'm being stupid. He's he's buffed up. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Attach two. Swing. Seven to seven. He'll just drop a card. We're fine with that. Play him out. Attach one. Swing an extra seven. It's not a great turn. Uh, I, like I said, I think we're just like giga dead now. I didn't get any of my Rush Zoros early. I should have mulliganed. I don't know if I... No, I did mulligan and we still didn't see Rush Zoro. Happens. Now we get, yep, that goes off. I think we're just like turbo dead here. What do we have? 
doesn't help us here. Nothing to KO, but we'll do that. 7k. Yeah, I actually have to block out of that. He's just got me. <laughs> There's simply no way I get out of this. Yep. Holy shit, man. He was giga evented up. Okay. I think that that was just a fucked matchup. Also, I don't think my deck was too, too strong, but like, let's be honest, I made it very quickly. Yeah, I don't think that this is an optimal way. I guess we could always include Nine Beard into our game plan. There's nothing that says, first of all, a dog can't play basketball, but there's also nothing that says we can't run Nine Beard. Green Uta, Mulligan me, we're looking for our Rush Zoros. Good. Draw Dawn and turn. Here, we just want to be very aggro. I think we just don't want to give her the chance to get her billion card hand size. She just plays that. Trash is a vanilla. Makes sense. She can clap back into Zoro here, and I can't protect him with my leader ability. If she does, that's the, you know, price of doing business. Or is it? Drop one of the Sanjis, because we have an extra one in hand, if need be. Yep. Draw card, draw Dawn. Now we're kind of getting on to something because we can attach one. Swing 5k to start. Just in case, I mean, I don't know. It would be a resting trigger, but they exist. Play out Borsa and pass. Now we have a 6k blocker that we can protect. Assuming that they don't have any way to rest four costs or less, but come on, they're green. What kind of cards in green would do that? No way! <laughs> okay, let's see what they do. Let's see if they know how my leader works. So they're already doling up. They're letting me know, hey, a lot of 6k swings are coming. The smart thing to do... Oh. Sure. Yeah, I'll take an extra card in hand. This also lets us get our Fire Fist online. Yeah, 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 no, for sure. We need to build up our hand size. And then here, Bart. Barto's not exactly a high value 2K for us in terms of keeping it in our hand, just because we have better options generally. Sanji would give us an extra swing. Let's start with just a little peck here and seeing what they do. Nami's the higher value one to get rid of because it's what lets them permanent. Oh, weird, weird. Not what I would have expected at all. Maybe she wants us to swing her life. I don't know. Here, we should definitely don't. <laughs> I think attach two, swing 7K at Brook. If they drop a two and a one, we're ecstatic. They don't drop a two and a one. We play Chaka and pass. Let's see what they've got because now they're scaring me. Why would, I mean, I guess when you have unlimited draw power, what's the point in protecting anything? When the world is quite literally your oyster, what's the point? Yeah, so it's a seven drop Luffy turn. That makes sense to me. Uh, yes. Resolve, use card action. Good. Draw card, draw Dawn. Now we can do, we could Karasu, I think this is my play. Karasu minus 1k, Jet Pistol, attach one. I should have attached one here and then given two rested. That was just a, a little bit of rust, whatever. Then attack. And then attack. Hey, we actually managed to get one all the way through. I didn't think any of those attacks would connect. Just because, I mean, look at her fucking card size, dude. We've got to dwindle through 50 fucking cards before she even considers looking at the damage we're dealing. No blocker, 2K. My favorite NBA. <laughs> okay. So next turn, we're looking at a Sanji rush kind of angle. In addition to, so 5K just at life, no blocker one out i don't think we have to worry about anything else except for obviously the luffy chain is probably about to come again no surprise when it does 
No, nine drop Zoro. Interesting. That means next turn's looking very scary. Uh, because I can't stop that. I can play another blocker. Which I'll do immediately. It does mean I really want to get rid of. Well, actually, hold on. Maybe we're on to something. I think that if I don't commit to this anyways, we're just dead. So now they have to defend out. Is that it? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that it was, uh, they want a rematch. We'll give them another game. Sure. I think if I didn't go for lethal there, it would have been a big misplay because Otherwise, I'm giving them an opportunity to use their Zoro that they just developed. And that Zoro is terrifying for me. I don't have enough ways to defend out of it. We kind of have to bank off the idea that our early game aggression is enough. Here, we're going to let this one go, though. We're going to let this Zoro go on the idea that they don't know we have another Zoro. They don't know what we're cooking. They have no clue. Rush Zoro swing. I also just love aggression. Red's such an easy color for me because it's just like turn off your brain and swing. Zabo does have a little bit more than that because you get to splash in black, but red and black aren't exactly synergistic colors. Red goes, I care about power, unga boonga. Black goes, I care about cost, unga boonga. Kind of, the two aren't exactly into Zoro, brother. He is yours. <laughs> you don't have to be that rude to him. Okay. Attach one, swing 6k lead. Instantly counters out. We'd love to see it. Play Zoro, attach one, 6k lead. 2k's out. I, so how come they run Ezo so much? Like, or I should say, how come they have so many Ezos? Aren't you supposed to like only be able to draw film cards? Oh, you tried to KO? All right, I'm just going to use the card action. Now you have to swing into it still, even if it is with law. Well, if you're only going to attach one, that just feels disrespectful. Swing your other time into it, man. Yeah, all of a sudden you're like, you fucker. <laughs> you weren't supposed to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kill him. Yes. <laughs> He's all yours, man. It was just like disrespectful of you to even try that way. Draw a card, draw a dawn. That's kind of the advantage, even though I know it doesn't seem like an insane one, to playing Sabo, is you get to force them to swing into something, otherwise they just hard remove. It's not... If you if you wanted me to call it good, I would say it's not very good, especially because that's the, if it was an innate ability, I think Sabo would be really hard or would be well, would be really hard. Well, I mean, if I'm around, hopefully, but if it was, oh, so Law shambles himself. I should have read the card, man. What does he do? He just plays a three drop. I mean, why would I not just block for free? Then he plays out Luffy and does the whole thing. Or maybe he even plays Hody in this deck, but that'd be an insane play. All right, draw a card, draw a dome. Maybe I should have taken the hit for Fire Fist reasons, because then I could kill Luffy this turn. Well, he can only block once, you know? That's kind of the mindset I'm on. In fact, what do I even care? What if I just attached them all? What if I just said block it, soy boy? And then he's just gonna take the damage, right? Yeah, I mean, sure. But hey, he had to take it. That's worth something. In this war of attrition, every inch equals a mile to me. Draws another Uta, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say no blocker. Here's an Otama for your troubles. Because he has enough swings that yeah, here I just block this and he can't attack. If he wants to swing with Luffy, I'm over the moon. I meant that, uh, Hina. Sorry, I should have clarified. I meant if you want to swing Luffy and Hina, I'm over the moon, but... Okay, so we've got the Zoro again. It's a scary turn for us then. We're looking at something I don't want them to have. So how am I going to stop them then? 
Hmm. Well, don't I live still? In fact, they don't have a blocker up. Have you learned nothing? Ye of little faith. You're now a 3k. So our best odds are going 8-7. I know you should start with the 7 there, but I don't want to because it's a very scary... An insanely scary idea, man. Because the 8 here, they just go, okay, I'll take that one. They want me to swing with... Hina, I don't think that I can. I think that if I swing with Hina, I'm asking for them to clap back. So, I mean, look at this hand, man. I'm going to jail no matter what. Look at their board and their hand. It's so GG. That's game. But here's the thing. I won last game. Now, I know that, uh, well, you technically didn't win the best of. Yeah, I know. I'll take this hit. Then they're going to pay one. Yeah, they already paid their one. He restood. Now, what's their idea? Would have been amazing. Okay. Swinging six. I'm going to say no blocker 2k. They want me to use my ability to rescue. What I'm going to do instead is this, this, resolve attack, and not use card action. Because I choose when I get to use this. If I keep Karasu alive, which is my plan... I'm fine. There's no rushes in green. And also there's no crying in baseball. So what I'm going to do is no blocker. Two, one. They have two attacks that can connect. Oh, the, they're banking on the idea of law killing. That's interesting. I kind of forgot this little fucker was here. Three, as an 8K swing. Yep, no trigger. If they attach all to law, we win. Oh, interesting. It's a smart idea. It didn't work, but it was a smart idea, right? So we start with 4k they've got a combo a ton out dude if they didn't have enough to get out of that i was about to be zooted off the perk even okay yep <laughs> that's the game we'll go back to main menu on that one that's two wins with sabo instead of just one i thought one was gonna cost me my entire life and then some i'm not gonna lie i thought that the one win would be the rest of my natural born life to get just because Sabo's just, he's the, kind of the best and worst of red and black. You know what I mean? But let's see who we get next. I'm hoping for someone fun and off meta. Eustace Captain Kid, is this going to be red, purple? Red, purple, kid. Now that's an interesting one. That's a, that's the kind of leader that puts hair on your chest, makes you, you know, you enter kid. <laughs> don't say it. Don't finish that the way that I was going to. Kid enters you as a man and leaves as a child. Amen. So what do we want? We're going to want a lot of things that are Dome Minusing or benefits from Dome Minusing every turn. So the obvious one that is a must include is 5-drop Kid. Okay, that's... Wait, why do all... Oh, hold on, hold on. His leader has two Ds in his name. Every other one has one D. What a weird one. All right. So. We definitely want four of this one. We at least want two of this one. We'll see if we change that kind of number. When you return a Dawn. Yeah, we want this because it's also a 2k for us. When a Dawn is returned, KOA rested three drop. There's not enough three drops for me to say that's value. This, no, it's not this one. Where's the one who gains power until the start? Of, yes, yes, yes. We want four of him because this guy is always going to be a 6k in this deck. Now, what else? Dome minus one, choose elite. No. Rest one of your opponents. Nah. Nah, we don't want either of those. 
what kind of other stuff are you looking at i feel like it's primarily the purple side that matters oh isn't there a killer who's a searcher there is yeah this will help us get a little bit more consistent with this captain kid package i mean it's not really much of a package now is it well but what if we do more kid pirates i don't want that one i wish i could run this one this one's from eb01 this guy fucks i'm not gonna lie this is a really good card but i mean it's eb01 i'm not playing eb01 i'd have to i don't know any of the cards okay it would be a 10 hour learning curve where people go uh actually that one's not even optimal anymore so i feel as though it's always worth it to run your upper limit kaido but only i'm only gonna go with two of them just because i don't know how upper we're gonna get we need zoro juro for ramp because we're not trying to have absolutely no ramp in fact i could even go with jean bart for a five drop that ramps but if we're gonna go with that kind of ramp idea let's go a little bit crazy if you will insanity even the it's the insanity smp it's minecraft with superpowers no <laughs> let's go fucking wild let's go nuts to butts what was the card i was thinking of oh yeah, yeah well okay first of all uh it's not khalifa it's miss double finger zala yes the mf za now i'm neglecting the red side of it is red beam unrestricted yet hold on let me look up the restrictions real quick because if it's unrestricted we have to run more rad beams if it's not unrestricted well i'll judge it based off of the price how much is it for a single copy of rad beam if it's three dollars for one copy of rad beam it's got to be unrestricted there's no way because everybody would have a playset right now if it was okay we go with four of those gives us a little bit more defense helps us out a lot yeah now what else can i do adding hold on hold on, hold on. putting brackets around a search term we'll search for that exact term so like when no don't other searches are okay but like how would i check zone minus i don't think they cared about purple for this search or maybe i'm stupid it let's be honest it's more likely that i'm stupid but so what else would be good here we could do for no just as another 2k i don't hate it but i definitely don't love it we could we're most likely going to be at less or equal dome uh if you're leader okay okay so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i think we go with this one because we're most likely going to be at less or equal dome and it has counter already that just seems like a must include for me what are some other things i'm missing dude does anybody play purple <laughs> We've got 12 2Ks. How am I winning here? Because don't I, you just kind of unga boonga. Holy shit. Wait, you can actually retract your own message on YouTube. I thought I banned someone on accident. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I got to get a back. We got to drop the load. Okay, okay. What else are you looking for with purple? Well, there's some classics, right? We could do some Paulies. Gives us a lot of, you know what? It makes me want to run Jet Gatling. With that, we will run more of the eight drop kit or the seven drop kit. Because now I don't feel bad about it. Is this a good list? Probably not, but this is not my forte of a color. I leaned very hard into the purple side of things and almost didn't care at all about the red side. Will that come back to bite me? Nah, why not? I just said it. I just kind of said it wouldn't. So I'm going to stick with that as my only answer. And if you'd like to argue with me, uh, you can take it up with the complaints department, buddy. Points sarcastically to a trash can. Thank you. Hey, comedy, I know, I know.
Holy shit, I said the message is self-destruct in 20 seconds. Once you finish reading this, you have 10 seconds until it does. Your task, should you choose to accept it. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to main menu because it looks like my opponent disconnected. I understand, I'd also be afraid of red, purple, kid. We're fucked. <laughs> uh, don't minus one to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are we looking for? That is it. That's what we want. We've got this shit. Watch. Draw, don't end turn. They're not ready for it. Draw a card, draw a dome. Play him, attack, use card action minus, and he's a 6K and so is this guy. Now, we, oh, well, he doesn't care about power. He's just gonna remove him regardless. Yeah, probably not a good idea because now we're delaying our other turns. In fact, yeah, next turn we'll have four. If I minus, I'll be at three, but then the turn after that, I'd have five. So I can play this kid and start doing something. From his hand, or from his trash, he's gonna play out a Perona. Select the card to trash. Drop me a Jet Gatling. And then no blocker, and I'll take the hit. We wanna get down to three life as soon as possible. Draw a card, draw a dome. Play killer, get a wire? No, is it other than killer? It is other than killer. So give me a five drop and return. Then take two, swing face, use card action, return one. He is now an 8K at face. What are you gonna do, gecko, huh? What are you gonna do, little lizard boy? Little scaly bastard, what are you gonna do? God, I do love this leader art. He's so whimsical. Salted Slice is when the character is whimsical in nature. <laughs> End turn, it's all him. We probably let Heat go as much as he's been a great help to us and all we've wanted to do. They're minusing cost of Heat. I've got great news for me. It's not my choice if we let Heat go or not. Here comes an Absalom from his trash. Absalom has been played. They call me a prophet the way that I know these things. Why does it make it look like this one can attack and like it wasn't just played? Can't attack, by the way. 6K at me? Please. I've been waiting for a chance. I was just hoping a motherfucker would try. No blocker, resolve attack. I'm not taking all of them. I'm at my ideal HP now. So here, play this one. Swing here, use card action, Dawn minus, and we have an active Dawn back. So with this one Dawn, what am I going to do? That's right. You guessed it. Pass. Here, we hope they use resources and dedicate to removing this kid. If they don't, we're on the fast track to glory. Fuck. Wait, I don't like this very much. I'm actually happy to take this attack because now we have a 4k counter in our hand. I can't, we can't keep meeting like this. I'm too polyed up, dude. Sure. No. I'm down to go down to one. Because I know he can't hurt me anymore. Kuzan, he can absolutely hurt me. Okay. This is going to be a big swing. Plays Perona, select a card to trash, drop a poly. No blocker, ratty out, and we're good. Now I need to have five, two, add one dome. Then if you're at eight or more, KO a cost of four or less. It's then if you're at eight or, eight or more. So use card action, kill. This ramps us one active, which is good. And we'll keep it just for a rad beam. Then we'll swing into Hina, returning one, giving us two active Dawn. Now, how are we going to utilize this two Dawn? We're not. Oh. Discarded a Borsalino just so that his next turn Gecko Moria is stronger. Got it. I understand what you're doing there, buddy. You're not as slick as you think you are. I see straight through you. Someone like you and someone like me, we're not on even playing fields with each other. I know a Gecko Moria is coming and I'll do nothing to stop it. Nice brand new, leaving you with precisely eight Dawn. I wonder what the Gecko Moria player is going to do with this precisely eight Dawn. Let's all guess together. Perhaps we can, uh, look, I know it's a safe, I know it's a safe one because let's say he attaches all just to, 
guys, Gecko Moria is not coming out. I'm scared now. No blocker? Resolve. What are you doing with seven? Wait, I'm just, okay. He's no, he's played me like a fiddle. How, how was I to know? You're going to now attach, swing, and kill my poly because nothing I do in this world matters to you. I understand where you're coming from. Now, this is ooh, this matchup kind of sucks, right? I, I think it's just removal is hard for us. Probably. I mean, I also threw this deck together in half a second, so could be part of that. Trash is two, plays an Absalom to kill Polly, swinging s ooh, 9k into Kid, huh? Enjoy, man. I, he's yours. All yours. Draw a card, draw a don't. Because what they don't realize is KOA costs two or less. Some will call me a fool for this. No, you know what? And they're right. And they'd be and they'd be entirely right. I think we just like double play kid. Play both of those fuckers out. And then swing at Perona just because like. Yeah, we'll activate that one. That's the one I like more. <laughs> that one makes me feel some kind of way. I'm, I'm getting all smiley looking at it. Yeah, we're fucked. I'm not going to lie. This is 6k. No blocker, 2k out. Yeah, you didn't think my deck had 2k's. Neither did I. They weren't showing up. I put in like 37 or something. I think half of my deck is 2k's, but you know, it's fine. Sometimes you play the Russian roulette. I, I don't want to go to zero, so I'm going to let him take one. Only because he deserves it. He's been trying so hard. Black doesn't have rush, so I have nothing to be afraid of. He's trying to hit me so he can attach all to brand new. Never mind, Hogback, what does he do? Return two cards, put up to one Thriller Bark card other than Hogback. So with five Dawn left, he is sending Hina and just to draw his Gecko Moria so he finally has it. So I am not going to block, I'm just going to ratty and we're going to call it there. Nice Sabo, uh, did your fucking mom get it for you? Up top, boys. Up top, come on. Dad? Come on, man. That was pretty fucking hilarious of me. So, it's going to seem erroneous of me. There's got to be a way to do this. It doesn't matter who I choose. I just want the rush. 10k into him, he'll just let him die. There's no shot he doesn't just let him die. Did, what are you going to defend it? Yeah, okay, thank you. Use card action here. So, this is once per turn. Oh, fuck me. My whole plan. Oh. Interesting. Does he think he needs that for lethal? Buddy, you don't. Like, look at my hand, dog. I'm done. I'm cooked. I'm toasted, man. They threw me out back. All right, they're throwing me on the grill currently. I'm toasted. I can save you the time. You've got the easiest lethal in the world. Okay, well, not that way, buddy. <laughs> Try again. Then let's see if we can. Maybe he'll play his Gecko Moria. Let's be honest. I'll just take the hit. You know what's going on here. 6K. Okay, well, try a little bit harder than that. One card, your move, chump. Wow, he actually did still play the gecko. People hate lethal. <laughs> they just despise it. They go end the game. Eee, then I wouldn't be able to play anymore. I mean, fair enough. You know what? They're on one. So we can just kill a four cost. Why not just kill hog back with our one active dawn? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, why didn't you just end? We kill brand new. He's not ready. I've got whole tech here. There's a whole flow chart of ways you're gonna die, buddy. Yeah, he's scared. He's like, fuck, do I defend my brand new? I need him for lethal. Yeah, that's what I thought, nerd. Now, let me ask you a question. What are you gonna do when I kill your Sabo? Yeah, and then... All right, GG, you got this one. <laughs> All right, shake my hand. I'm just going to click the little concede. No, a true warrior never concedes. I'll look death in the eyes for 30 years before I click the give up button. Good game. Shake my hands. You got that one. Just kidding. I had a blocker. 
Now what are you gonna do, huh? Just swing, oh, ew. What kind of nerd is he, man? I mean, like, no offense. Like, obviously, he won the game. And I, more what I mean is the cool way to end the game is attach 15k to your leader and swing. Unless you're playing Rebecca or Vivi, in which case I highly doubt you'll be able to attach that 15k and swing. But it's still a stylish way to end it. Just attach 15k. So what was our issue there? Well, we only saw one heat despite searching for more. We never got seven drop kid which is a big win con for us because our deck kind of relies on that. An interesting matchup. We'll go first and we will keep this hand. The only thing we need is a heat off of this search. We'll take our 2K. It's not exactly a heat, but someone out there is listening. So unfortunately this turn, all I want to do is just attack and not use card action. When he de-ramps us one, it is going to hurt, by the way. Really bad. Luckily, we get to play out our Eustace before he de-ramps us one. Meaning we kind of get to offset slightly. I, hold on. It's only on your turn when a Dawn's returned. I thought I had the smartest counter of all time. I thought I was like actually a genius, dude. I was feeling Jimmy Neutron. Think, think. I felt it going in there. The camera that is i would never feel anything else going in because i don't lose 9k i'll take one hit i i'll let you in on a little secret man i want to go to three life <laughs> while i'm at four or more i get debuffed draw card draw dawn play kid swing card action return what now your move yeah, yeah, I know. I do all that and all I get is 2k. I understand. Play out your Magellan. You're playing the Magellan deck. Play Magellan. Ooh, oh, select one Dawn to return. I mean, I guess one that's not active. So on my next turn, I will be at six Dawn. Six is enough for me to play out a Zoro Juro and attach summon swing. Maybe even attach. So it's Zoro Juro plus uh, no blocker. Here's a 2k for you. Thanks for the memories, even though they weren't so great. When you're at C, whoa. Oh, you play that one too. Oh. We're not so different, you and I. When attacking, if you have three or less life. He knows, man. He just wouldn't hit me if I play that. That's what I'd do. I mean, fuck. Ooh, that's rough. But I'm not gonna just not develop a body in fear of, well, but if he counterplays me, if he counterplays me, then he's a man and we have met each other on equal playing ground. What are you gonna do? There's a 5K swing coming your way. What are you going to do? There is now less of a 5K swing. Maybe I should do more one drop events because with this kid up, I tend to leave one Dawn active very often. Now, obviously he's going to kill Killer. Surprise, surprise. I should have taken that one hit. It's okay. Uh, if it delays him swinging into me with the idea that, well, now his leader's a little bit weaker, that's still value for us because I don't actually think we have this game when it comes to late game. 6K into Killer. I just honestly think you haven't seen the show because after all he's gone through, you had no reason to just disrespect him like that. 7K at me. That's a damn good deal. I'll take that deal. Would you take that? I'd take that deal. Draw a card, draw a Dawn. I couldn't help but notice you played a... Captain Kid. Why? It just so happens. So we definitely attach one swing ramp. Okay. Oh, true. I should have attached two. Swung ramped. Well, that was just stupid of you. Whoever it was that made that play. Honestly, I am down to D ramp. Yeah. Select two to return. I don't mind. I know that it's, you know, it's brutal. It's whatever, it's whatever. It is brutal. Uh, very. But next turn, I'm going into eight Dawn. I'm able to re-ramp with Polly. Plus, we still have him offsetting our Dawn ramp. Not to mention, we're a 6K lead until the start of our next turn. It makes me feel a little bit safer. We're both just going to kind of be like Eustace captaining with each other, though. That's tight. That's hot, man. Two guys used as captaining each other. Oh, you're going to kill my... 
Zoro Juro. What the fuck? I, look, man, I, to each their own. I don't understand what he did so wrong to you. I must have offended you greatly. No blocker. With the amount of counter we have in hand, it just feels irresponsible to let a hit go through. So I will not let that hit go through. He is playing some big bodies. Well, maybe he also just wanted it out of his hand. But I still think 8k, I'll take an extra hit. Now he's still at a lot of life compared to us. Draw Dawn. Here's where we start getting insanity with it. I'm actually down to attach two, swing, use card action, return one. 10k at him. Let's see what he's got. Can you defend your kid? That's what I thought. Bums like you have no way to defend a kid. You don't even deserve to be a father, Magellan. That's all right. I haven't seen the show. I'm pretty sure that's the low. No, I'm kidding. I have. I have. I'm not like that. Dude. Did he? Hello? What happened, man? Are you deciding? I mean, I guess I took a while to counter out of one. I shouldn't exactly. Me when I get to take 10 years to do it. No, no, that's cool. That's cool. I'm allowed to. Okay, counter step. I'm imagining you save him. Yeah, you do. Don't know if I agree with that, but do you have another 2K? Or are you going to dump whole hand to save him? If you dump whole hand to save him, hallelujah. Oh, you had another 2K. Okay, well, you know what? Fair play. We'll meet in the middle on that one. I'd say that was a pretty fair game. Now, he's going to swing a lot at my kid. Starting with an 8K swing, I think we just drop heat. No blocker. I'm dropping heat. Because then killer could even be used to find a heat. <laughs> so I think that that's probably the right play. 8K into 8K, I'm imagining. 8K into 7K. Interesting, interesting. I like what you're doing there. Now you're going to really have to attach if you want to hit me, man. Only attaching one that is still just a 2K for me. So I'm not going to block and I'm just going to combo out of it. Giving him six, he's probably going to play another Magellan. Oh, a Banish card. I have never seen this one before. Now, Pauly is very useless for me right now. However, I don't exactly have a better use choose no targets and then just ramp one active because now we'll be at max dome for next turn gonna play out killer draw a 2k return the rest start with a swing of eight into seven returning a dawn and ramping one is active if he has a 2k big mistake to use it okay then we will go 10 into 8. Good. Then we will go and finally give him a card that he's probably so desperately wanted. No trigger. We'd love to see it. We're still representing a lot of counter and bodies. I think that this one we have just kind of outgrinded his deck. We'll see though, because we are still a life down. So I think it's very erroneous for me to believe that it's over, especially when he kills my Eustace Captain Kid blocker like that and then goes for game. Well, no, he can't go for game. He can't even hit me with that one. That one's a seven into seven. Sorry, buddy. Enjoy. Now, it hurts not getting our ramp back, for sure. But this engine is very nice. Once we have these guys up, I feel so strong. Oh, smart man. Smart man. But I didn't want to banish a card either. I think the better decision was definitely to drop the banish, but it happens. Uh, okay. So he has only a 6k. So let's like attach three here. Go nine into seven, make him drop a 2k plus one to get out. And if he does that, that's fine. Now we have some, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cause now we're just kind of cooking with gas, man. I think we almost always play killer here. Uh, get ourselves a kid. Return the rest to deck, play out said kid, swing at lead using card action to return one, set it at active. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is One Piece rat cannon? I'm happy you ask. Uh, many people, it's very hi highly debated in the power scaling. Okay, so he has a Fornoske now. That's a 2k counter for him. 
So I'm going to get plus 2k, meaning I'm going to be a... No reason not to attach this. So I'm going to be at... I'm 7 right now. An extra 2 puts me to 9. So I'm just going to swing here, use card action, return 1 from there, and be at 9. Then next turn, we go up to 10. Okay. I don't... Unless he has another... No, he can't even 10 drop Kaido... Or 9 drop Kaido again. We're looking very healthy. Whatever he swings at this kid, we have to protect. If we drop this kid, who cares? Kid is here to protect. Kids stick together. Y'all ever heard of kindergarten? That's what we're doing. <laughs> so they do have a good bit of Dawn to play with. Six Dawn. If they swing 11-11, they get it. Which they can't do. No. I simply don't allow you. Now you must attach your rest to swing at my kid. And if you do that, enjoy. I think what I'd do on the clap back just to fucking show him what for is attach all to my lead and swing right at fucking Kaido's dick skull. <laughs> just bah, that fucker open, man. Oh, a banish Zoro. Draw a card, draw Dawn. There's no reason not to play him. But there's also no reason to use his card action. So I think what I want to do is 9k. We can do a lot of 9k's here. Okay. I misclicked so horribly. Oh, well. 9k. The last one's going to be 8k. And so if he gets out of it from that, unlucky. We know he has for no skis. Yeah. If he gets out of this because of my misplay there, it sucks, but it is what it is. Does the 1K matter? Nope. Okay. Eustace, Captain Kid. Many people are saying one of the best leaders to ever do it. Perhaps the singular best one of the entire set. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm just a simple, humble man, but... From what I'm seeing, it was it was actually it was a pretty fun deck to play, and I blame it entirely on the fact that this card and this card feel so good to have out on field. Now, what's the weakness of this deck? We're lucky we were fighting Magellan. If it was any deck that had removal, we saw it against Gecko Moria. We get absolutely pounded, bent over the railing, no shot at seeing tomorrow. The sun don't shine there. So there's our win for that deck. Let's see who we got up next. I'm really enjoying it. I like being able to play a little bit of some off meta. So like I said, it's time to play some Eustace Captain Kid. <laughs> yes, sir. This is a, a Captain Kid only kind of day, I guess. Right on back. I love, there's one thing I love, it's Eustace. If there's two things I love, it's Eustace and Captains. If there's three things I love, I'm not going to say the last part of his name for what I love. <laughs> That's right, boys. We know how to avoid jail on this channel. So, what do you play with a kid deck now? You probably do the same thing that every green deck does, but you might fort up a little bit more. So, undoubtedly, we get Hody Jones in here, the new 7-drop rush one. Let's go Hody. Give a couple of these. Uh, we'll have three for right now and see how we feel about it later. Dolphy, no shot. You're not running four of them. You know what? I'm even, I'm feeling bold. Give me that next Hody. I'm just, I'm feeling some kind of way right now, dude. I'm, I'm crazy. I'm off the perk right now. Now, who else we got? So we probably got to go another Eustace, but the eight drop Eustace. Now with that, we definitely want Roshinantes to cheat out. We probably want, uh, what am I, dude? I'm just making Fortress Yamato. Okay, let's be honest with ourselves here. Baby five searcher, because we're running a good enough of that set. We also need to make sure we get our supernovas up. So we definitely want a jewelry Bonnie for that side of searching 
Scratch Man for the 2K counter. Viola for the 2K counter from... I know some people say you should run the Baby 5 instead as the 2K counter. Let me be completely honest with you. I'm stupid. Painfully so. I will get confused between which one's the searcher and which one's the 2k counter because they're the same character and i will grab the wrong one on cooldown <laughs> just the second i click search i'm grabbing the wrong one okay it's not know your limits stay within it now what are some of the other staples you're looking for we don't want the five drop blocker law we probably want some other chump blockers though but chump how so well we probably want punk gibson where is our punk Jibson? Uh, should be... Okay, we need this because we're running so many no counter cards. The lack of counters will kill us. That's likely... Whoa, they have a Yosaku and Johnny? Holy shit, I didn't even know. From starter deck too. Why? Wait, what did they do? Wait, but starter deck 2 is the kid starter deck. Why is... Oh no, SD012. Oh, that makes so much more sense. It's the uh, it's the new one. It's the new. That could be a 2K counter we run, actually. What kind of slash characters are we looking to play off of it? I don't think any. I looking at what our deck has, I'm not sure what else we'd want to run. Monet isn't a bad idea. A cheap little blocker that we can cheat out sometimes. Just to have extra blockers on the field. Who's the other blocker I'm thinking of? I think there's another two drop. Oh, killer. Dude, how could I forget? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to get killer in there. So we've got our searchers, our killer, our kid, our Hody, and our Doffy. Our late game is looking goaded. We need some other stuff just kind of padding out the center game. But I don't know exactly what we're looking for. How many 2Ks we at? We're currently at Scratch Mana Poo plus Viola. Can I? Yeah, yeah. Counter power of 2000. Who are we missing? I could also run Baby 5 if I want more counters. I'm going to actually go for the unsearchable angle with Izo. Simply because I like the idea of what Izo could do for our deck. Now, what other kind of supernovas am I thinking that I could run? We could X-Drake. X-Drake's never bad, and he does have hand counter. I think you at least do two X-Drakes and then get your Punk Gibsons in there as a final way of countering. Might be kid. It might be. I'm not sure. I like This might be what people run. I don't think I'm missing any of the staples that I'd like to see. We have Hody for ending out games. So we're going from kid to might be kid, man. The can't join rooms full. Well, I look, man, it's fucked up. I showed up to the party and they said, ooh, sorry. We actually, everybody we need at the party is already here. So you could probably just get on out of here. I brought a cool a, a six pack, man. A six pack. Oh, the new starter deck one. Let's go first and keep this hand. A bit of a scary deck. The thing is, when you play Kid, you kind of get to... We'll play out Baby 5 in case they have some way to remove things. You kind of get to forego having normal attackers in favor of Kid just being that guy and like smashing. You know what I mean? Getting a Hody there is huge because now I don't have to waste any time for it. This one's a Don Quixote search. I'm going to take a 2k over another searcher because we already have the rest of our Dolan accounted for. Then here we will look for a 8 drop kid. Hey, where were you last time? Whatever, we're going to take a 2k because, um, well, I mean, honestly, that one I would love something else, but we take what we're dealt in this life. Okay, is this just the starter deck? What does he do? Look at the top three, rearrange. Reveal the top card you may... Oh, oh he's kind of fun sick so they should only be able to deal with one of the cards less they have something that ko's arrested maybe they're playing sham and Bucci. <laughs> this could be a huge yeah you you kill jewelry bonnie man i don't fuck you oh well if you have five or more cards in your hand this 
card games double attack, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's an option, dude. I don't think I'd ever have thought of that myself. Well, let's just attach to swing seven. I should have searched first, because what if he gets a rest trigger? That's true. If it's a rest trigger, okay, I was about to scream. Whichever side wins this will be the side of justice. Return cards. And I know we didn't develop anything this turn. I'm going to pass representing that I have Punk Gibson. Punk Gibson can rest his Moria if he tries to grind me down a little bit first. Only a 7k? No blocker? And I'm just going to Gibson out and choose no targets. It's just easy. I could have, like, whichever side wins into whichever side... Reveal the top card of your deck. For... I gotta say, like, respect to them for just praying. That's sick. That's hype. Into, okay, well, what the fuck just happened? Well, ho hold on. You may return one of your costs to her. Oh. So the reason he did exact mathematics was for the restand. That's kind of sick. I'm gonna whichever side wins or which I, whichever side wins. Is it a great idea? No, but I really like my hand. Here we do have a seven drop that we could play. It could be a seven drop angle. I'm kind of down to, cause he'll probably be like, ha ha ha, I saved him. You haven't saved shit, buddy. Select targets? No. Give me my card from my... Also, I don't mind it cause I'm just gonna treat it like a draw. If he drops double 2Ks just to save Moria, then he won't be... You need to have five or more cards in your hand. So he needs to play, I guess he could do the same even cob trick. Yeah, I mean, I don't love that for me. Uh, I think I fucked up by doing it the way I did. I'm gonna say no blocker, two one. Yeah, I think I definitely fucked it up a little bit. It's not a two drop again, return, uh, wait, rest up to one of your opponents. Ooh, Zoro, I didn't realize you were shossed like that. My man. So if I was him, I'd just attach three here. No, he is grinding down my hand though. Credit where credit's due. Now, the reason I blocked out of that is because he's probably gonna attach the extra two here just to try and make sure he guaranteed, he did not attach the extra two. I'm still gonna take it anyways. If I could get a, Oh, dude, it would have been such a good turn for a Eustace. Well, we got to block her up regardless. You have five or less cards in your hand. This gains 2,000 pounds to the start of your next turn. So he's basically a 2-5. That's not bad. I I mean, I think he's just lucky that he's fighting an honest fighter like me, right? Not everybody is, you know, an honest opponent in this world. Start with a 9k into Moria. Moria should just die. I'd see no world. You save that. Yeah, so from that, I'm actually so down to attach none, swing 8k with a reason. So he gets that, love to see it. The reason is Roshinante into killer with killer with a don attached because now I have three or more characters when he blocks. I'm just going to pitch this guy immediately. But I do get to draw a card, which I think is very worth it. So now he does not have five or more cards or five or less. He needs to play out another card. Surely he understands this. And he is about to play out another card. Yes. Even Cov. Ooh, we know he's got the 10 drop doggy coming up too. So here is when he has to attack. He did exact mathematics to make sure he was at 7K. This is perfect. No, we don't care to save that. Now Even Cov is just gonna get bounced when attacking. This kind of combo is a little bit nasty, I won't lie. I like every turn he has to pay three for it, yeah. But he kind of just gets to keep up a little bit of aggression. No blocker, 2k. Now if he wants to, let's see what he does. He has four Dolan left. It is a very aggressive deck. Unexpectedly so. I'm definitely going to play out Izo and rest this one. 9k now. Take him. Draw a card. Draw Dolan. Or, or, oh, oh, that's actually so cool of a tech. So he's not just a 5k, he's a 7k right now. That's actually sick as hell. Now, 
you need to be a cost two or higher. So you will just bounce him should I Dolph Lam Dolph Flamingo here. But if I search a jewelry Bonnie and get an eight kid, I don't do anything with it right now. So I think that my maneuver here, swing, see what happens. Because I've got a plan if he takes this. He's keeping his hand a little bit small. See what you got. This could be a play. I don't think it's gonna work. Wouldn't it be so funny? Select a card to trash. I don't need 10 drop Dolphy. He has no counter power. If this works, I mean, I shouldn't have, but uh, that's useless. That, that's useless, baby. <laughs> that's useless. What can I say? In this world, sometimes you get kidded on. I'm just a little bit of a kidder sometimes. What can I say? <laughs> Wow, did he not have any 2Ks at all? Mihawk were the only 2Ks we saw from his whole deck. Well, that was a fun one. What a stupid way to end that fight. But that's, I mean, if kid's nothing if not a little stupid, right? That's why we love him. We love Captain Kid because he is just like, I don't know, Oonga Boonga numbers. I did nothing that that deck was supposed to. I, I spent way too long building it for it to do nothing there. But I'm ready to move on because I've played Kid twice in a row. Surely they can't do that again. Okay, I was very worried that was about to be a VV angle. It is a Katakuri angle. Now, what do you play if you play Kata now? Because aren't you just a worse version of NL in every way? What advantage does Kata have that NL doesn't? I guess that's the question I should ask myself. And the answer to that is Biggest Mamas? Uh, oh, but yeah, that's right. They call it Charlotte Linlin. They go with her full legal name. They doxed her ass. Yeah, so we want our 10 drop Linlin. For sure. Look, okay, I'm not disrespecting Kata. I'm just saying like, have all that yellow players want to do is get hit in their face in real life and play triggers. And the person who lets you play triggers better is currently NL. I like Katakuri more. I think Katakuri is cool. In fact, I think he's so cool. I'm going to run Cracker. I know a lot of people don't like running Cracker anymore. What's the point if we're not thematically playing around the Big Mom Pirates? Now, what else do we have? I have never in my life. This card's not real. What the fuck is this? Hold on. This character gains Banish. Whoa. I will not be adding this to my deck at all. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing up. You will not be added. I'm very happy that we could have you. Now, in terms of 2Ks, well, okay, let's be honest, right? We're playing yellow. You add four Capone gang beiges. Then also, can I, okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. I am pissed off that this card is a zero drop 3K instead of a Dawn card, because this is my favorite manga panel from One Piece. It's so fucking tough, dude. All of them pointing off at an L like that. It's so sick. I wish it was a Dawn card. I'd be repping a whole set of that. Now, what else do we run? Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. No shot, you don't run. Sorry, I thought it was O hyphen Nami. Here I am, looking like a damn fool. We gotta run that, because, I mean, why would I ever run... Thunderbolt when I've got the better Thunderbolt here. The whole idea that we're going to be doing, by the way, is hopefully we can trigger Cracker, play Onami. I'm seeing a lot of triggers in my deck. It kind of shows what I think of yellow. <laughs> Do people still run Shirahoshi? I don't know. You almost definitely have to run the Sanji. And Satori. Where's Satori? Satori you just always run four of. Oh, a triggered body that's a 2k counter? Yeah, I'll take it. What else does yellow run? I mean, you still run eight cat. It's also a category deck. It'd be crazy to not run eight cat in a category deck. Does the new Momo, is it leader lock? Place up to one of your Wano characters. Other, oh, it's not leader lock, but I don't think I like it for this. Now I will be running, what is her name? Oh, Kiku. Uh, Kiku Nojo. Aha. <laughs> 
<laughs> there we go. We definitely want four of her. Let's us heal a little bit and is an aggressive trigger. The other big bomb too. Oh, the seven drop. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see two of. You probably don't want too many. I mean, I guess you could go up now that you can discard that way. So we have Para Sparrow for searching. I don't think we want to play the other search because there's too many good triggers that have been added to yellow. You probably want Gadatsu. Gadatsu is tight removal. And then maybe two of Yamato. Maybe a couple of Mongrom Crickets. I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm not trying to, you know, really reinvent the wheel out here, but could be something, could be something. I'm just saying, I don't think that the Mont Blanc Cricket tech has truly been explored. Yeah, we want Gadatsu for the early game removal. Then we have Yamato for some late game plus minor healing. Now, if we're setting triggers back, we might as well run Shira, right? Well, what are our 2Ks looking like? Our 2K situation is only two 2Ks. Okay, then let's go C2000. You see, I've been to the year 3000. Honestly, not much has changed. They do live underwater, though. I guess when you play yellow, what do you care about counter, right? You're just going to trigger something. Oh, we go Amaru, right? For end game. Yeah, 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 yeah. We go Amaru to, uh, to squeak out wins. Kata, maybe? Yeah, Kata, maybe. Saved deck. Let's see what we got. I feel if we run into NL, I think we are just fucked. They're gonna take more damage than us and trigger better. Into Moria, it's gonna be interesting. Now, I believe Katakuri always goes second. I'm gonna keep this. Is that crazy? Am I insane? So if I'm right, the reason you go second is just to ensure that you get 10 drop mom exactly on curve because that's all you care about. Be, or, uh, Katakuri players care about two things. One, eat hot chip and lie. Two, play Katakuri or big mom on curve. That's it. That's all you got to care about. Everything else comes second. Now here they'll do their first swing. I think we just take it with reckless abandon. If they don't swing, they're smart. If they do swing, we hope for a cracker trigger that we can then Onami since we'll be at lower HP. Resolve the attack, no trigger. Yeah, of course, of course I played it, so of course there wouldn't be a trigger. If this was my opponent playing it, 30,000 triggers off that one swing, but that's fine. Uh, Let's go with... I think that I'm gonna play on curve, which is something no Katakuri has ever heard of doing. I know that that's scary. They're probably like, why aren't they swinging with... I'm going to play out Cracker so that next turn I can attach Onami and we're getting somewhere. Attach Onami with double attack. This is assuming my Cracker survives. I've sent an Absalom strictly in my future. Let's see if I can divine this one out. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. What's he got in his trash? No Absaloms. Well, well, well. Someone wasn't moria so well. You notice how I didn't get a trigger? Well, you don't get an Absalom. Sorry, bud. It's the way we play. All right, well, I'd like you to take your turn, though. I, sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I was just kind of... It was more theatric than anything. I was just trying to, like, hype the people up, really kind of get a new vibe uh, feeling on. You know what I mean? Just kind of like... Yeah, you've outsmarted me, but you know, like a real anime moment that we could have here. Draw two dawn, buddy. You gotta. Are you? What happened? <laughs> do, you, do you guys think that Moria got to him in real life? Do you think he snipped his damn shadow? Oh no, this man's in thriller bark for real. We win. That doesn't count. That doesn't. Wow, they were upset that they couldn't remove cracker what were our triggers capone gang beige you're the one who should disappear big mom oh, we had some good triggers too that doesn't count that doesn't count i know there was the you win screen we, I, I didn't get to play the deck <laughs> i played one cracker and they went he's got me <laughs> i can't do anything now that or it was a family emergency but it's funnier just to like not know anything and infer their entire life wouldn't you agree 
Salted Slices has connected. I don't think I have. Do I just go back to menu when this happens? Yeah, probably. Cata maybe? Cata, Cata maybe? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That guy disconnected and DDoSed me. I'm sorry, he hacked me. I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you. He stole my credit card information. Fucker, picked me dry. I'm checking my bank account right now. Ow, oh, zeros. He didn't even do that. That was my own irresponsible spending habits. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna click back the menu again and we'll try this one more time. Is Katakuri, does no one want to fight him? Do they somehow load in before me? And oh. So like I said, I believe you always want to go second. A 10 drop, Big Mom, double Onami. Those are some ones I'd really like to see in my life. Oh, we're dead. We are dead. Dead. There's no way we make it long enough for any of this to be useful. Draw card, draw dawn, pass. Oh, it's so it's never been this over before. Just play play your pathetic card. Play your rage you out from Yeah, you've got the four drop in trash. Swing 6k. No blocker. Resolve attack. Of course I don't get a trigger. The most 10 drop big moms you'll ever see. And the worst part is I don't even oh blocker. Are you afraid of the dark? What, your mom come tuck you in? What was that about? You top of my life. I'm going to place that on the bottom because I'm going to want that later. I do not want it right now. Then smoke Yonji and then you're going to 2k, right? You're not just going to let him die. You wouldn't play a fucker just to let him die. Yeah, that's what I thought. Play Paro Sparrow and move on. There's no way they just bounce Paro Sparrow the entire game and he never gets to attack. That would be redonkulous. Okay, they dropped another Raju. They've got two big Raju's in trash. An interesting choice if they don't have baby. Okay, they do have baby Raju, but did they just draw baby Raju? I don't know. Oh, they reveal and drew a Vinsmoke Judge. So they know it's gonna go to late game. They're preparing for the idea that they will have to play back all of their children. Okay, attaching one and swinging. I frankly think that that's a little bit immature of you. Uh, this time I will counter out because I don't want to just take everything knowing that this game is going to be a bit of a grind. If they want to grind us down, that's fine. We've got to be prepared for the grind. Draw a card, draw a dawn. It's just every late game card at once. Okay. So I will attach two. Swing. View top of my life. Keep that firmly where it is that's an 8k swing coming at you what are you gonna do if they block good if they don't then i don't play onami but you have to do you can't just like let it sit is it, am i is it me is it me okay they do let that happen in which case Take a banish seven, so they have to drop two cards, or they lose a life. Like to time, the sands of time destroy it. Now, my counter situation is not looking great. Okay, they drop two cards instead. I'm completely fine with that because how many two Ks could they possibly have? Uh, probably their hand, if I had to guess. Well, we know one of them's judge because judge hasn't been dropped, and they've drawn a judge. So it was actually a intelligent gamble it just didn't pay off but you know they can't always pay off they realize they don't want yonji in this matchup it's a weird choice because you definitely will want to block out of some stuff now if they swing in paro sparrow i'd love to keep another swinger on field rest in peace paro sparrow amen <laughs> may, may you may god help your soul kind soldier no blocker uh, you know I'm just not gonna choose any because I'm a nice guy. Not because I whiffed on a Paro Sparrow search, but because I'm simply so kind and no blocker, resolve the attack. Now here, we take this one, use the trigger, dropping a 10 mob. Draw cards, draw dawn. So here I will attach three to cracker, Swing 9k double attack. There's no way they get out of that. Yeah. Then 
I'm looking at. Hmm, I could have misplayed this. They play double finger, huh? Interesting. I mean, I guess they just need the 2K counter, right? And when you're looking up, you know, what kind of cards people are running, there's the double finger. We will play a Kiku Nojo. They could have game because we know this is a 10 drop big bomb. We might be fucked. No? Well, they could still have exactly enough for another Ichiji. But it wouldn't be game. Just because one of these has to have counter. Surely. There's no way they all don't have counter. Take him. He's done his job. At this point, he's never going to have double attack again. I rest in peace. You know, he's a big ups to my man. Love him for what he's done. We are getting to a 10 mom turn. And I think we just have to 10 mom. Yeah. Ichiji. They're going to bounce back Kiku Nojo. 100%. Yeah. It's brutal. Uh, they're probably going to go 6K, 7K. No, 5K. <sighs> It's giving away a lot of what we got, huh? Oh, man, they would have had game, actually, if they had another, you know, rush. Oh, man, I think I might have gone too uh, top heavy in this deck. My, much like your mom. <laughs> I mean, I didn't get any because we know that's a 10 mom. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me, dude? This is just a bad. I, I think it's just a bad. Uh, I mean, Put this on top of our life and then attach to swing view top of the opponent's life of course they get two two k's in their life and i get shafted all right that's it's kind of over from there now i will get to kill one of these two but if they have any idea what they're doing that's that. <laughs> I don't have a good board. I should maybe I should have done Brule. Do people even do Brule anymore? I haven't seen her in so long. I, well, I hope she's doing well. I hope the wife and kids are good. You've given me a new hand. You've given me counter. You absolute fool. Oh, I was bricked up, dude. I was more bricked up than half the people you see on Reddit.com. That's the level of bricked up I'm talking, man. Now he should swing with uh, Niji right now. Yes. I'm just going to take it and not even trigger it. I don't have to trigger it. That's the thing they don't understand. They think that they've outsmarted me. I've outsmarted them. Because I'm just going to drop those two. And then I'm going to take it. And I'm going to take a little hit. But it's a good thing that we saved for later. Because now... Eight into six. What are you going to do, buddy? All right, guys. Good game. <laughs> no, I mean, let's, let's think this through. What do we have? What do we have? We have a lot of ways to die and not many ways to win. We'll start with a 5K here and see what they do. I'm just going to drop 10 mom so I can say that I dropped 10 mom. I think that we were done here and a lot of it came down to our draw we didn't draw like any of our 2ks we did early but then also we were only drawing top heavy no blocker we will counter out the onami they are saving eight exactly for judge no no blocker resolve attack might as well just play her out because she doesn't even have any hand counter no blocker one two gg i'm down to rematch them though i think we got very unlucky with our hand that's obviously the most common excuse of all time. But I think it might have been true for us. Mulligan, because it was a little top heavy. This is kind of the start that I want to see. We're just going to have to swing Paro Sparrow. I don't love the odd curve, but it does let me do things like drop a cracker, attach one swing. Not the worst. They're already... Okay, so they just drew another Bin Smoke Raju from dropping bin so we've got two of those at the very least we'd love to see it draw two drop two they are filtering out their reju and probably another adult suit no a pudding interesting so here we're just gonna swing five see if we can get them to pitch something they probably will 
They said, hit me, I like the way it feels. And honestly, we respect the king for it. We're in the day and age where that kind of shit is hype as hell. Katakuri was a sick character, though. I won't lie. I liked him a lot. I fucked with Katakuri heavy. Even though the anime fight with him was, look, I'm not going to lie. It was drawn out. It's a smidge. It was definitely a, a, just a wee bit drawn out. Okay, look at that fucking hand. You have the audacity to play this pudding where you're like, oh, actually, it's because you have too many. Fuck you. Let's take one. Oh, man. We are. Yeah, I think I'm too top heavy, but you know what? That's kind of the way I like him. <laughs> We're going to kill Reiju with a Godatsu. Finally, this guy shows up, by the way. This is like our mid game king. What? Oh, then their life. Oh, I thought it was then. Wait, I thought he did the Yamato effect. Oh, wow. I've uh, You can see how little I played last set. I didn't get to locals at all. I thought he had the same effect as Yamato. Uh, no blocker, 1k out. We do have our zero drop 3k if they go for a big swing, which they're probably going to. I'm imagining we're getting a... They don't have big suit Ichiji in here. Never mind. You win. Oh, so you... Oh, so you so you fucking drew poorly and you went, I'm going to give up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That doesn't count as our win. Kata, maybe. Let's load it. I think that what I have to get rid of, I don't love having that many Kata curries. Yamato, ah, it's so situational, but I think it's still a good play. Once you start getting to that kind of big body after big body play. I wonder if seven drops too easy to remove, but what am I looking for in its place? Cause I can't just like remove things with no idea. Amaru, we never saw, but that doesn't really matter. I think we need another 2K. Yeah, I think I need to remove these for more 2Ks for another set of four 2000, uh, counter 2000, yes. Now, which one we looking for? Yori! I forgot she existed! Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the change. That's the change. Hiyori is a goaded card, and I was insane for not running her. I Look, I don't play yellow, all right? I don't fuck that. All I play, all I know how to do is play green, okay? All I know is green, eat hot chip, and lie. That's pretty much where I'm capping out in life. So... <laughs> You gotta cut me a little bit of slack there. Waiting for a connection? I mean, the heat death of the universe might come sooner, but... Sure, why not? Kata maybe? Let's see if we can get something. Please! Okay. I think, I think that the... Ah. Where I shine in... I've got no counter, but I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I've got a singular 2k, but I'm going to keep it. And I know that that's probably an insane idea. But now they trigger first. Fucking dumbass. Enjoy your Paro Sparrow. I've already got one, nerd. <laughs> Here you are looking like a fool swinging into me okay well what is what trigger did you get we're just playing russian roulette aren't we <laughs> nice paro sparrow i had one of my own view the top of their life that's on the bottom now baby enjoy the okay sorry i'm sorry i get it you're scared that i'll start getting kiku nojo triggers i'm sorry i didn't realize it meant that much to you <laughs> i didn't i didn't know how much huh okay so he gets a better clap back because he triggered his second. Sure. Uh, let's draw. I'm so unlucky with this guy. I run so many big bomb pirates. An insane amount even. Just give me this. Godatsu. Godatsu pops one of theirs. No blocker. Counter out though. 
you know what that's the play right now godatsu away sanji attach one swing god damn place that on the bottom too they've got such a good life i can only hope that mine is somewhat similar i'm not you know commenting in earnest on the fact that i believe they will have a very fulfilling life ahead of them that will be filled with you know tur turbulent opportunities perhaps even a, a rich business reaches out and I, I just mean like their life in game all right i'm sure in real life you know they're out here they've got a seven drop linlin okay you know what maybe they're better than me yeah, I, I just removed that one maybe i'm an idiot 5k into 5k if i had any counter you'd be so sorry dude uh the only option we'll take a cracker now what are you gonna play for seven i'll trash one of mine it was a cracker trigger that's okay i'm gonna get back more later okay now what do i want to do here playing out of kiku nojo does not matter until my opponent's at three or less life so sorry i'm supposed to be at eight don so we will start with an 8k swing that should be tempting enough that they okay yeah yeah then swing this one view the top of their life and keep that exactly where it is because we know that's not a trigger enjoy the card i mean like thanks for the memories even though they weren't so great she tastes like you only sweeter now next turn ah uh, sorry did you think you could kill my guy and let's try that one more time okay Oh, well, I didn't mean it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, no, whoa, 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 whoa. You're getting way too into your role. No blocker. Sorry. Did you think you could kill my guy? Well, you're just a little fucker, aren't you? Enjoy it. Fine. I didn't even want the Capone gang beige. Start with a little 6k poke. He knows what's coming. He's well aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protect that life like it's all that matters. Because I got a secret for you. It is. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how to play yellow. I've never played this color. So if you watch me and you go, oh my God, he's playing horribly. You're probably right. Just know that uh, you're making fun of a toddler. Just know that like when you make fun of me, there's a... Sure. No blocker. Resolve. No blocker. Resolve. No. Oh. Oh that's cute you thought you'd win yeah all right good game <laughs> one more time one more time this time i'm gonna opponent has disconnected maybe i just don't know how to build a katakuri deck i think i built it to an l pilled i think that if this exact deck was being played with an l well first of all you'd probably remove the 10 drop big bombs i don't think that <laughs> no, i mean it's cool to tap 10 dawn that makes me feel interesting and unique <laughs> but we will win this. Believe you me. We will win this. Never mind. I don't think that I'm here. <laughs> I think that corporeally, I'm not actually present. Okay. I have connected. It seems as though that's debatable to some people, but yeah, sure. I've connected. Oh, a Perona. I've actually not had the pleasure or misfortune of playing against her. I don't know which one it is yet mulligan me because capones i want in life really bad i'm just gonna do a big swing i guess or maybe hold on do you only then if your life is at one or less rest one of their four costs okay so doesn't rest yet draw a card draw a dawn swing this view top of my own life place that on the bottom not just because it's not a trigger but also ooh, now our kiku nojo trigger is online so they can swing at me with reckless abandon. But I shouldn't take hits like I'm a nail. I think it's been a big issue for me so far. Playing Sanji is stupid. Playing any four cost against Perona, you're asking for it to die. Well, at this point, playing anything against Perona, I'm asking for it to die. So what if I played this my own way? What if I wanted her to try? You top of my own life exactly where it is that's fine that's what i expected i'm trying to delay their setup from mattering especially because i know onami's here hit me with anything you want 
Your Kuzan's dead and buried. He's 10 feet under, brother. He's not even six. I'm skipping that part. I'm adding an extra four, and that's just the salted slices special. It's just the way I'm feeling tonight. Yeah, I think this is the worst deck I've constructed tonight, though. Oh. Oh, so you, so you like, don't care? But, well, I kind of wish you would. They're gonna play something for six. Sure. So what are they gonna play for six? Cause Brooke wouldn't matter here. What are you gonna put these back into my deck? Oh, like, uh, it's not exactly, uh, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Or maybe they're also trying to learn the deck. I mean, that's kind of what the Sim is for. You're learning decks. I, my decks aren't exactly good. Resting my Onami. Well, you just hate her. Well, you gonna kill her with Ryuma? What did she do wrong? <laughs> she, she gave me Banish and is now a 3k that was sitting there. Leave her alone, man. Did that for an Inupe? Are you searching for the Ryoma? Just to kill this little... Why? Why are we... What is... Oh, you had another one. Ah, multiple even. Okay, so you were setting one up in the trash. Ah, I see. So what we should do to be smart is swing thusly. If you top of my life, what's this one's trigger? If you have zero less, uh, oh, place that on the bottom for sure. Just do a big 11K swing. If you're wondering why I'm playing this way, by the way, I'm trying to not give her anything to, ooh, okay. I would rather trigger out the Sanji. I'm trying not to give her anything that she values off of her removal. I'm wanting her to start representing blockers sometime soon. Yeah, you, I mean, obviously you kill her. What, do you think I was gonna zoot her up and swing with that one? No, of course not. 6K at me. We will definitely take this, but you've already rested your character. So, I'm going to drop Amaru. It just does not help here. I know I could use it to squeak out an extra lethal. I don't... I don't prescribe to that belief the same as other people. So now what? I mean, that was what I said. That one's not RNG for once. No blocker, counter. So I'm going to be at nine. Frustratingly short. That's okay. Eight, you're going to play a Borsalino. Let me guess, your next line. No, yeah, so you're going to play Borsalino into, oh, no, Kuzan and Rosinante. Roshinante, okay. It's an interesting choice. We've got a hell of a clapback to worry about here. With that said, I'm not playing anything this turn. So I'm just going to attach... A good bit in both places, but how do I want to do it? One, two, three, four, five on Sanji into Ryuma. Now, if he just lets Rosanante die, I don't even know if that's the correct play because Ryuma will now be able to kill Sanji. If I had to guess, that's the play he's going for. If not, I'm just going to swing again. He just lets Sanji die there. That's fine. He was going to rest the blocker anyways. This is a far better usage of it. Now here, I will view the top of their life and place that on the bottom so that their final card I know is no counter. This makes lethal very easy for me. Good. So now I'll end my turn. They've got a hell of a clap back here. Uh, a scary one at that. If they're only swinging five, I think I have to take it. Now, if they're gonna swing seven, it lets me bluff. If they're swinging five, I just, I have to take it. Sure, because this can help us squeak out a lethal. Because now they'll rest this and start trying to deal with this. And that's fine, because then I get to redraw a card. It does let them know that my other card's probably a 10 drop Big Mom, because why the hell would I drop a 10 drop Big Mom going into my turn of 10 Dawn? It does, yeah, when I put it out loud like that, yeah, it's very foolish. They know exactly what I'm doing now. I've shown them my whole heart and said, please respond. Yeah, I'll take this one. 
Now they think they might have lethal, right? That's the, like, the cute thing about it. They don't, but they don't know that. Well, oh, okay. No blocker, counter a 2K, and we're living. Because we know this one will let us put another life on top of our deck. It's not a lucky thing for once. I actually planned around this idea. Yeah, if you have zero life cards, place the top one. Can't attack, freeze, and that's that. Good. Draw a card, draw a dome. I think we have to 10 mom, but we're probably dead. End my turn and move on. They have to end this turn, but it's very feasible that they end this turn. It's not very feasible that I end this turn. I, after this game, I have to check my phone. I might have to go, which would suck because like we're getting into it now. I want to win with this deck because it should be a very winnable deck. Yeah, that's guaranteed. Uh, sure. Kill the Rosinante. Now I'm saying end this turn or lose. They definitely can't end this turn. Yeah, because I can't even use this one's trigger. I can't. Good. Okay. That's huge that I can still use that one's trigger. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to. Well, they should just... They still have lethal. I don't think they realize it. They're paying with that one first. Great. So what you got? Let's see how they get their way out of this one. Probably another Moria into Borsalino. If I had to guess. So they're... Draw two card, Trash Brook. What was that from? Oh, destroying Inupe. How'd they... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I... They didn't destroy him. I did. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. He took himself out. <laughs> he did not. I thought he was like... Had the cyanide pill at the ready. It was his spy movie moment. I mean, if they lose from this... I'm sorry. Sometimes in life you get yellowed, you know? Playing Sabo, probably searching for a Roshinante to try and make my lethal a little bit more difficult. Don Quixote Roshinante, yes. Draw a card. Oh, but could you imagine if that was Amaru? So, if I'm right, I start with a 9k peck. No, I start with a 10k peck. Going up to an 11k, finishing with 12. 10k. If they get out of any of these, they win. But I think it's the bit. Okay. They're making it close. If they're out, they're out. And it's a big hand, but if I don't, you know, like, put it all on the table here. Oh, they're doing a dramatic thing. I bet they're out. I bet they're out. But you got to say the drama of it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, there's no shot. They're not out. Yup. Damn. GG. If it is damn a censored word. Oh, unmute chat. Fuck, my bad. Damn, GG. I didn't even realize I had it muted this entire time. Well, I hate to have that happen and then just like leave the game. I realize it does make it seem as though I'm a sore, sore loser and a little bit of a bitch. I'm not that big of a bitch. I'm like a mediocre sized bitch. <laughs> I'm not that, It's I, I promise, I promise. But uh, yeah, I, I do have to run. I promised people I'd be on to watch a horrible show with them. It's called the Avatar Live Action uh, Remake. Maybe you've heard of it. But yes, I'm going to be off now to make sure that I'm there for that because Real life stuff, man. I'm probably gonna do this again, though. It was fun. I like trying out different decks. And if I do do it again, I'm going to start by doing the other one. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, dude, I, I think it was fun. I'll, I'll probably do this again. I enjoyed, I wish we got a couple more off meta leaders. I feel like none of them were that off meta. I was hoping for like a VV, Ice Barg. Well, I guess Ice Barg was, but learned a lot. I'm sorry. I, I was playing so bad. I, I was, I think I'm at my best when I'm deck building. When it comes to playing, I'm okay. But when it comes to deck building, I come up with some some ideas.
I know the Katakuri one was off. I've never experimented with yellow. So, but that's what we'll start with next time if I'm going to do another one of these. And I'll see you guys then. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. You guys are the only ones that I'm still talking to right now because I've ended my Twitch stream. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really have anything else to say. <laughs> Goodbye.